Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a, a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create this effect, this gradient effect in ClickFunnels. There's actually two ways that you can do it. The first one is using an image element where you create this image uh, and paste it in the ClickFunnels editor. So let's start with that one first. So for that, all we need to do is go to our image editor. In this case, I'm using Illustrator. And then we create a text, we create some outlines, but now we need to give like this thing a uh, gradient effect. For this gradient effect, I'm going to be using only two colors. And now I'm selecting the colors that I already have um, there. Now I just do this effect here with the gradient and I have these ready to export. The other thing that I would need to do here is really just adjust this to the layer. Uh, then adjust the artboard, export it, and then paste it in the ClickFunnels editor. Really, really simple. You have full control of it. You can add all kinds of elements here. If you want to add a star here, you can add a star and then you can export it. And that's really, really simple and easy to do in ClickFunnels, all right? Just do the image, you export it without a background with Alpha Channel, and then you import it to ClickFunnels, all right? Now, the next thing is actually with CSS code, all right? So, how can we do this in text uh, with CSS? It's actually really, really simple. The only thing you need to know is two concepts. The first, you need to have the code for that, which is, I already have it here, okay? And the next thing, what we need to do is we need to find the, in the settings, in CSS info, we need to find the CSS ID, right? So now we copy the CSS ID and then we go to the custom CSS, we change it for that one. And now we have that same effect that we needed. So if you want and you would like to use these kinds of effects in your funnels, make sure you grab the code below. There's a tons of more things that you can do. For example, you can animate these colors. Um, you, can, um, you can select this. And now let's say that you want to create a new headline. Okay. So now this one is actually with a pretty default. So what you need to do is just go to CSS, get CSS info and create another piece of code right there. But the thing is that if you have like 15 headlines and you copy these 15 times, it's going to get like a, a really big CSS um, code. So in order to shorten it up, there's a way which I teach uh, to, to my students and also to everyone that has my course. So if you are interested to in knowing that and a lot more tricks, let me know, send me a message and I will um, share those with you. If you want to grab this one, make sure you copy it in the comment section or in the description and use it. 